freaking out right now. Excuse me if I put my foot in my mouth because uh, I'm just standing next to you. I'm you like a you're geeking out right teenage now? thing come true. I'm trying so. to be real cool about my geeking out. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's start. It's been 23 years since we were both on The Cosby Show. And let's take a quick, quick trail down memory lane. I believe in staying close to my family. I like to pass on what I've learned especially to someone as young as her, because she is our future. <laughs> Olivia, blue suede shoes, hit it. One for the money, two for the show. Three to get it ready, and I go, can't go, but don't you. Scalp on my blue suede shoes. You can do what you want, but don't you scalp my blue suede shoes. <laughs> Three years old. Three years old. Yeah. So I don't really remember a lot from the show, being that I was three years old. Malcolm, can you refresh you my memory? All that drinking and stuff <laughs> you were doing back then. <laughs> no. But do you? Do, here's what I do remember. I remember what the floor looked like. It was blue and it had those round uh, raised things. I guess I was so close. And right. the hallway walking to the Cosby Show um, studio was pictures of all of us. What do you right. remember? Right. Uh, about you? About us, the show, and what you are the most. <laughs> you know, I, I have so many memories um, about the show, like really awesome memories. Um, what I thought was always interesting about Raven is, you know, because she came on the show like at three, four years old, being that young, not knowing how to read, mm -hmm. so, you know, having to remember what to say, when to say it, and how to say it was always really amazing to me. She's smart. And there's some really great, like, like you know, I think the greatest moments are between um, Olivia and Cliff because we were a very under-rehearsed show. Yeah. So, you know, Raven's cue to say her lines would be, you know, the line before. Mm -hmm. And because Mr. Cosby didn't always know his lines, <laughs> he'd, like, go to left field, and it's, like, some really magic moments to watch Raven. Yeah you know, go to left field with them and kind of, they had a, like just a nice little banter. The girl has challenge. Now, man, back then, I mean, yeah. <laughs> now you, like, you were about the baby. By the way, I love that flat top. The, uh, 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 I'm old yeah. enough to really appreciate that flat top, so I, I enjoyed it. This is a Gordon yeah. Gartrell, if anyone remembers that. This is my favorite episode. Uh, now, Malcolm, you recently made headlines about the, um, you know, the sexual assault allegations that were made against Bill Cosby because you brought his name up. Why not go there? And you want to clarify what you really meant when you said the legacy of the show is now tarnished. You want to clarify? Well, f first of all, the, that, the interview I did was actually an interview about my music. Yeah. And we spent 20 minutes talking about my music, and then the very last question the woman asked, do you think the legacy of the show has been tarnished? Mm -hmm. So I said, of course, well, it, you know, it, it, of course, there's, it can't help but be tarnished because it's no longer on the air. Uh, it's been pulled off the air, and, you well, know... Other shows are off the air. It's mean? not the only one that's off the air. There are many shows that are not being on the air anymore. This show was specifically pulled off the air uh -huh. because of what's going on. Uh -huh. So the fact that because, you know, throughout even since the show when we've had images that perpetuate the negative stereotype of people of color we've always had Cosby uh, show to hold up against that and the fact that we no longer have that kind of leaves us not in a great place in terms of having the wide scope um, of the now, images Mal of people of color. Malcolm talking about images take a look at this upcoming cover of Ebony what does what does this mean to you? <laughs> uh, we really don't have enough time on this show to really uh, talk about how I feel about that. It's cover. kind of a fractured picture of uh, the um, family, right? Sure, sure. <clears throat> it's fractured. Yeah. Let's not forget that The Cosby Show was a sitcom and not a reality show. Let's just remember that this was a sitcom. We had writers and things of that but, nature. You know, there's, there's things about that show that are, nobody's ever going to take away from you. You know, mm -hmm. it was a pioneering show. It broke ceilings from, for African Americans. And, and, and I think it's got to be color. viewed in, in a silo. And you, know, in well, your, well, 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 and you all, you both, need to be very proud I'm gonna, well, yeah, of yeah, everything I'm gonna, that show I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Say. That's for yeah. yes, no, Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's a, that, that's a show that we're all very proud to have, have been on. And, uh, and Keisha, Keisha and I pulled him said a, a really interesting thing in that um, her, her perspective is the legacy 
cannot be taken away because all of the good that that show has done cannot be taken away. Sure. The generation, the generation of people of color who have chosen to go to college but because they watched that show and, and, and because they watched Different on. World, you can't you can't take that away. And I think that was a really good point. That yeah, you I want to talk to you about a show that you're working on.